Good morning, everyone. Time again for your WNW Week on the Web. And today we're talking about a heated issue that's made its rounds on the web nationally. But we posted it over on NorthwestOhio.com and we got your responses on our Facebook page. I'm going to read that and talk about media bias in the Trayvon Martin case. But first, let's talk about number two. It's a more serious story on our website this week. A Springfield Township condo complex burned down in a massive fire, killing two and displacing 69 people. The Toledo chapter of the American Red Cross is providing emergency shelter right now. Timberlake Community Church in Holland will be distributing donated items to the victims this Saturday. If you want to learn more about how you can help, check out NorthwestOhio.com. And now the story everybody's been talking about these past few weeks. Viral photo tries to repaint Trayvon and Zimmerman, but is fake. And so what that's referencing to is this Florida neighborhood watchman named George Zimmerman. He shot and killed a 17-year-old kid named Trayvon Martin and said it was in self-defense. But ever since then, there's been a lot of speculation to how the media is painting this story. So as you can see up here, a picture of Zimmerman was used from a booking photo from 2005 for a past crime that he committed. He has currently not been arrested. And then this is Trayvon Martin over here. But this picture is now circulating the web showing Zimmerman. Um, it's a recent photo, I think maybe from his workplace. And then down here from a supposed Facebook page of Trayvon Martin's is this uh, picture with his shirt off and he's flipping off the camera. Well, the picture of Trayvon in this uh, circulated photo is a fake. And so people have been very upset saying that somebody's trying to paint Trayvon as the criminal in this picture. So, but then again, the media has been really getting a lot of heat for using this booking photo. And we wanted to know what you thought about this. We got so many shares and comments on here and we're gonna go ahead and head over to our Facebook page to talk about this. So we wanted to know if you thought the media was painting a bias in this story. And let's go ahead and start off with Carmen. She says, people are a lot smarter than media outlets give them credit for being, I hope. Asking for an investigation is fair. Trying to influence its outcome is not. Ask for justice, pray for peace. So that's a very good point from Carmen. But further down here, Dean Stevenson says, I think a lot of these posts are way off topic. And yes, I think part of this is the media attempting to influence the news instead of just reporting it. At, at the very least, both pics of each party involved should have been showed. Because to present them as the old man and the gangster is just as bad as showing the little boy and the 30-something pic. And I don't think we should rush to judgment on either side and let the case be settled in court. So that's a good point from Dean. Thanks for sharing. And then I'll read one more. Julie down here says, it honestly should not matter what color, race, whether a drug user or not, and even past history. Murder is wrong no matter what. I disagree with how this story was handled from the beginning. Too many media outlets with their own personal bias have shaped this into being just about race, and that is just wrong. And of course, we want to know what you think, so sound off over at our Facebook page, facebook.com slash northwestohio, and maybe I'll read your comment next time. I'm Elizabeth Reed, and that's it for your WNWO Week on the Web.